created a new ePortfolio, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your privacy settings are adjusted the way that you need them. In order to do that from any page in your portfolio, you can open the drop down menu in the upper right hand corner of the screen and select settings, which should be the fourth item down on this list that opens up. This opens the settings menu. This looks familiar. It looks a lot like the page that you just used to set up the ePortfolio. You'll notice that you can come here at any time to edit your title, your URL, or to add a directory icon for the portfolio. And this is also where you're going to adjust your privacy settings. You'll see them under permissions and share. And the default privacy setting for the create from scratch template is private to me, which means that no one besides you can see your ePortfolio. If you'd like to change that, you'll just select this edit button here and you'll see that three options appear here. The first is private to me. The second is private within DePaul University. This means that only users within the DePaul community are able to see the ePortfolio. And the third is public, which makes this ePortfolio visible to anyone and also allows search engines to find it. If you're using your ePortfolio's URL to share the portfolio with anyone outside of the DePaul community, this is the privacy setting you need to use in order to make sure that they're able to see it. When you're deciding on your privacy settings for your ePortfolio, if you're creating this portfolio for a class, remember to check with your instructor to see if they have any specific requirements for the privacy settings. I'm gonna keep my ePortfolio set to private to me since I don't need very many people to be able to see it. However, I'll still be able to submit any work to assignments that my instructor has created for my class. Now, if you're required to share this ePortfolio with specific individuals or courses, for example, if your instructor requires that you add only them as a viewer to the ePortfolio, you can do that underneath. Also share with specific people, groups, or courses. You'll just select this edit button here. In the search bar that appears, you can search for Campus Connect usernames or course numbers in order to add specific people as viewers to your ePortfolio. Once you've added your viewer to your ePortfolio, you'll be able to adjust the level of access that they have in this drop down menu over here on the right. Once you've got your privacy settings the way that you'd like them, you can select Save Settings at the bottom of the page down here in order to save your changes and return to your ePortfolio. Once you have those privacy settings established, it's time to start adding pages to your ePortfolio. For more on that, you can see the next video in this series.